Now at five, sad news out of Hollywood. Academy Award winning director Jonathan Demme has died at 73 of cancer. He won the Oscar for Best Director for the 1991 classic thriller The Silence of the Lambs. CBS 4's Vanessa Borge takes a look back at his life and his ties to South Florida. I'll have to catch him, Clary. The Silence of the Lambs will always be the movie most associated with Jonathan Demme. The hit horror film won the five top Academy Awards in 1991. Best Picture, Director, Screenplay, and Actor nods for Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. It is one of only a select few to win all five. At the film's 25th anniversary event in New York last year, Demi said he knew the movie had potential, but he had no idea of the success it would achieve. We thought it was odd that we got any nominations, you know, because we were a scary movie. I served my clients consistently. Demi's follow-up, Philadelphia, won Tom Hanks a Best Actor Oscar for playing a lawyer with AIDS. I'm coming with you! The New York native was also adept at comedy. He directed Michelle Pfeiffer's hit, Married to the Mob. Same as it ever was. And his 1984 Talking Heads documentary, Stop Making Sense, is considered by critics to be one of the greatest concert films ever. His latest concert film, Justin Timberlake and the Tennessee Kids, was released last year. Apart from his Hollywood career, Demi devoted a lot of his time to humanitarian causes, particularly Haiti. In 2003, he attended the Miami Film Festival for the world premiere of his documentary, The Agronomist, about the life of Jean Leopold Dominique, the journalist and activist who fought for the rights of Haitian farmers and was assassinated in 2000. His murder remains unsolved. Demi was born in Long Island, but he is a South Floridian through and through. He attended Miami. Southwest High School and worked briefly as an usher at the former Riviera Cinema on US-1. He studied at the University of Florida. He then returned to Miami where he reviewed films for the Coral Gables Times Guide. Demi was 73 years old. Vanessa Borge, CBS4 News.